All right, I got some things here that I pre-ordered. Um, first thing I grabbed was a DVD. I know you guys are saying, DVD? This guy, get him out of here. But I grabbed Under the Boardwalk. This is probably a movie you've never heard about. And let me tell you why I grabbed this and why you've never heard about it. So this movie was a Nickelodeon animated movie that's has been finished and made for quite a while. And they delayed it. They were going to put it out in theaters. And then they did. Now you might be saying, but what are you talking about? I never heard of this movie. Where did it release in theaters? So they dropped the trailer a week before this movie came out in theaters. Actually, less than a week. And they kind of hid this movie. So the, the only release for this movie is a DVD release. And it was only in less than 50 theaters. There is no Blu-ray. It uh, just came out on DVD uh, yesterday at the time of recording this video. And yeah, I, I've been wanting to watch this. But Paramount actively made it hard to watch this. And as far as I know, this is not streaming on Paramount+. Plus, But it's on DVD though. And it's got a good cast to it. Uh, it's got... Um, it's got Kiki Palmer, Michael Sarah, and some other people. Russell Brand also does a voice in this, apparently, and you now he's in hot water, so let's not talk about that. But, you know, uh, it's directed by the guy who did the Captain Underpants movie, which is a pretty decent movie, and it's a musical. And I just, I don't know, I want to know about this movie and do a video on it. And unfortunately, Paramount made it hard. I wish there was a Blu-ray. There's no excuse for movies that are coming out in the year 2023 uh, and being made, at least in the past decade, to not have Blu-ray releases. But, or at least the past five years, I would say. If your movie was made in the past five years and does not have a Blu-ray release, there's just no excuse for that. TV shows, I kind of get it, because TV on Blu-ray doesn't sell that well. But actual movies like this, I don't get that. Last thing I grabbed is JFK on 4K from Shout Factory. Um, this I grabbed immediately because this is a big box collector's edition. I wanted to know what was in it, and I was maybe thinking about canceling. I'm glad I didn't because, first of all, I love when they do these box sets. Because listen to this. It's, it's firm, it's sturdy, it's a wonderful addition. I do not like how tight it is though, because this is a three case set, and we'll get into that in a minute, but you can, but you know, it's really tight in there when you put them in. But uh, there's the front, there's the back, all the special features, tech specs, all that. Um, yeah, and then you open this up, you get the red case, so this one, has the director's cut on, on 4K. The, I believe, from what I understand, this does not have the theatrical cut on 4K, which I think is stupid. Uh, but it's got the Blu-ray of the director's cut right here, which many people consider the director's cut to be far superior to the theatrical cut, so I, I'm glad that the, that's the one in 4K, and I agree that it is the superior version. Uh, then you have the white case. I'll show you why they're all different colors in a minute. This is a just the theatrical cut on Blu-ray because this is because this case has the Blu-ray of the director's cut. This has the Blu-ray of the theatrical cut. And then this case right here is all the special features. And what I do like is that it actually gives you some of the runtime of some of the special features on the back. Kind of gives you all that. Uh, there's all and there's new special features. Uh, there's looks like there's audio commentaries, things like that. Tons and tons of stuff. Hours and hours of deleted scenes, other documentaries, other things like that in this edition. Um, so let me show you this edition. Th that's why this is uh, in these different color cases. It's it's the colors of the American flag, red, white, and blue. Which is such a creative decision on Shell Factory's part. It's a wonderful box set. It's a very pretty edition. And I can't wait to watch this. I'm I'm gonna wait uh, a while to do that though, because this is a very long movie. It's about three hours and twenty-five minutes, the director's cut. And I'm I'm not wanna review it, uh, this box set, but I'm not gonna do that right now. 
I just want to show you it, say, hey, this is what I got, and if you guys want it. Um, I think this is running a little pricey. It's it's over $40. Um, I think Ford is the right price for this, just because while there is a lot here, this is only one movie, and I feel like, you know, if you can get an Arrow video box set with all the same amount of stuff for 40 bucks, that's the right range. Once you start getting over 40 bucks, a little too pricey. What a, what a wonderful addition from uh, Shout Factory. Uh, probably one of their best releases of the year uh, that will probably not become a scene just because movies like this don't tend to be the big heavy hitters for them. You know, usually their Screen Factory stuff is, but can't understate how what a wonderful addition this movie is and who knows how many of these will actually be around uh, but yeah I, I can't wait to pop that in